I'm on a shore. I'm on a shore. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like a sand painting. Mm -hmm. Seeing ripples and kind of like colors. Tell me about these colors. What do they so, look like? All kinds of shades, so from pink to blue to purples, mm -hmm. some orange. It's almost like you can't tell where the land begins and the water starts. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's like bluffs, and they're all layered, like strata. And they're all colors like that. And then, same ripple mm -hmm. of the shore and then the water it's all like a painting beautiful now as the observer are you on the shore or are you observing it i think i'm observing it. Mm -hmm. so let's focus on the observer and tell me from what perspective are you watching this like the shore stretches from front of me like i'm like a vista. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking out to sea. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at the land. I'm looking down the shoreline. Mm -hmm. What do you see down that shoreline? What's know. down there that catches your eye? I don't know. It's almost like the... It's like a... <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not making out anything. It's like a sand painting. Mm -hmm. so let's see if you can move within this painting. Allow yourself now to look around to see if you can see the other side. There's like a beach to my left. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a cove. There's no people. Mm -hmm. I don't see any vegetation. So I want you to connect now with your feelings, your emotions. What does this place feel like to you? A little melancholy. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you're feeling melancholy about. I don't know. It's like I, I remember this place, but I can't remember and I can't see mm -hmm. where the shore leads to. It's like it disappears into, mm -hmm. it doesn't, like into, so I'm not making out a lot of form here. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is I'm going to count from five back to oh. one. And when I get to number one, you will be able to see what has made you so melancholy. Five, going back in time. Four, three, two, and one. I don't know, it's like I miss it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Okay, so I want it, it you... It doesn't feel familiar necessarily. So I want you now to acclimate yourself completely into this place. Feel yourself becoming part of this place now. Melting into this vista. And tell me what this place is. Trust your first impression. I feel like I've lived here. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what form, though. So I'd like for you now to move that analytical mind aside and allow yourself to meld into the picture and become one with it. And you will be able to see yourself in this place. Be there now. Trust your first impression. I feel like I've moved into the water. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's shallow. It's very calm. I can't see very far. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to see so far. I want you to feel and sense more than anything. As you move into the water, can you feel the water? Can you sense it? Allow yourself 
It seems yeah. that it's warm mm -hmm. and almost viscous. Mm -hmm. So as you're in this water, do you feel that you have a body there? I keep wanting to say that I'm actually the water. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like this is, I am this place. Mm -hmm. So as the water, the water can move. So I'd like for you now to completely acclimate yourself to this place, become it, and tell me what you do next. The water is the force that makes this landscape. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Going in and out, it is what leaves those ribbons of color mm -hmm. on the beach and on the bluffs. It's almost like it's creating it, like a painting it. Mm -hmm. So no, as, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. I don't want you to make sense. I want you to feel and sense it only. Allow yourself to move with the current. And tell me what it feels like to create this landscape. It's just peaceful. Mm-hmm. It's just all about the colors and the vibration. Mm-hmm. So how is it that you create the different colors on the landscape? Because the water has the frequencies in it. Mm -hmm. And when it comes in, it leaves a band of with whatever the color is, it leaves a band of that behind. Mm -hmm. So what color are you are you painting this vista with now? It's like mutable. Mm -hmm. The colors just change. Mm -hmm. Every wave brings in a new different color. Beautiful. But they're all like sunset colors or dawn colors. They're all peaches and purples and blues and pinks. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. Beautiful. So do you feel that you are the artist of this beach? Yes. Mm -hmm. Find out what else you have painted with your vibration. I'd like for you now to close the scene and move to another time and place where you were creating something else. Be there now. Where trees. are you? Trees. Mm -hmm. Like tall trees, like columns like but smooth like palm trunks mm -hmm. it's like a temple but it's trees tell me more <sighs> describe it for me almost tall and somewhat close together like the temples in Egypt mm -hmm. but they're not stone they're trees What's the significance of this place? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm only seeing the trees. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing what's around them. So I'd like for you to use your knowing. And let's find out what the trees have created here. It is some kind of a temple. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to connect your energy, your frequency to these trees. Let's find out what the trees tell They're you. They're a living temple. Mm -hmm. They contain knowledge. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What kind of knowledge is stored in this temple? The knowledge of the place, the origins, the history, whatever what people need to know. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not seeing people, I'm not sure who's who it's for. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now. It's like a living library. Let's go towards that library. Allow yourself to go towards that library. It feels like it might be in the same place. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself. There are steps. 
Mm -hmm. I can't see the tops where the trees end. Mm -hmm. What are the steps made out of? I don't know. Like something natural. Mm -hmm. Not polished like granite or marble, but something earthen. Mm -hmm. They're part of the landscape, too. Tell me more. Something in the center. Describe it for me. Oh, it's round. Mm -hmm. Seems to be on some kind of low pedestal. Maybe it's an, like an egg. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. What color is this? It's like a translucent. Mm -hmm. Hazy. It doesn't have a hard outline. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Do you sense anything coming from this round <sighs> thing? It in seems the to be why I'm, why I'm drawn to it, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's it's important. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what is in there. I think it's how you access the knowledge mm -hmm. that's held in the temple. So as you get closer to this, tell me what you sense. It glows from within. Mm -hmm. like I want to touch it. Go ahead and touch it. It's alive. Mm -hmm. Connect. Mind to mind and soul to soul. It's like it holds the heart of this place. Feel this heart and tell me what this heart is feeling. I feel like it has so much to share, but there's no one who's taking advantage of it. I don't know, maybe this place was abandoned or mm -hmm. no one's using it anymore. So I'd like for you now to ask this keeper of knowledge if it would share some of this knowledge with you now. It just... is kind of... remorseful, like... I don't know, like it was the missed opportunity somehow. Mm -hmm. It had so much to give. And somehow it wasn't, it was a gift that wasn't accepted or wasn't used. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Will it allow you to see what happened? I'm just getting sadness. Mm -hmm. So let's follow that sadness. Follow that sadness <sighs> and allow the images to come. It just feels like it's telling me that its message was either misconstrued or misused. Mm -hmm. And it was just like something, a beautiful thing that could have been that was lost or never got to be what it could be. I feel like it's because it was not properly honored or respected, understood, or you something like that. Because it's still intact, but it feels like it's abandoned. Mm -hmm. Does this energy source, this knowledge source, have a name that it gives itself? What is it called? 
don't know, it identifies itself as the kind of like the life spring of this place. Very good. Like the heart? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not like a it's not coming across like a personality or mm -hmm. a being. Yes. Does this life source, this life spring, have knowledge about what happened to those that were on this place? Does it store that knowledge? Connect with it and see. Ask it what happened. Mm -hmm. It's like they were children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't understand. Somehow, I don't know what happened to them. Mm -hmm. They're not there anymore. It wasn't something destructive. I don't know. I don't know. Ask this spring of knowledge if it will give you this knowledge. If it will allow you to tap into this beautiful information. I feel connected to it, but I'm not getting any information per mm -hmm. se. I'm just getting emotion. Mm -hmm. So allow it to give you the emotion. Allow this emotion to break through. Use it as an energy field to break through. I feel like I'm being shown it because it's a, something that happened mm -hmm. elsewhere or could happen elsewhere. And, it, and that it's showing me so that, I don't know, so like maybe it's similar to here. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to ask where this life source is here. It's the heart of the place, the planet. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a planet or a star. Mm -hmm. And is this connected to all the other hearts of the planets? Connect. Yes, because it's, this is the aspect of source that goes out and becomes these beautiful places. Mm -hmm. And this egg thing was created to give access to the inhabitants mm -hmm. so that they could directly connect. And somehow they just couldn't. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. Why are you showing this today? What is your role? I guess I remember this and I remember this is what's happening to Gaia too. Mm -hmm. So I'd so, like for you now. So much love. So much love and opportunity and just like children that don't know what mm -hmm. to do with it I don't know so it's now very that, sad so now that you have connected with this heart from this place uh, I'd like for you to now connect with the heart of Gaia close this scene now and connect directly with the heart of Gaia And tell me what you imagine. I love her so much. I'm here for her. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how you're connected to her. I feel like, I don't know, like almost like we're sisters. Mm hmm that makes any sense. Keep going. Describe to me this feeling. I 
feel like I'm part of her. We know each other. I don't know, like a sister keeps coming, I keep getting that I'm a sister. Mm -hmm. So ask Gaia to remind you of when you were her sister. Allow yourself now to connect to that time. I think I might have been that other place. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I feel so similar. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to the people. So now that you've come to Gaia, what needs to happen next? I've forgotten to. I need to connect with her more. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to remember. Remember how to connect. And let's connect now. I feel so much more at peace. Mm-hmm. I don't want what happened to the other place to happen here. Mm -hmm. So let's find out your role. What is your role? Oh, just hold that love. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge her. Remember. Mm -hmm. Connect with her now even more. Allow yourself to become one. Be absorbed by her energy. And allow her to channel through you. Why have you brought Christy? to be part of your life now. Why do you need this soul on your planet at this time? Vibration. Mm -hmm. Tell me about her vibration. Carries that energy from that heart. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that place is called. Mm -hmm. And with that energy, what is she doing to help Gaia? It helps mm -hmm. strengthen our field. It's a kindred connection. Guy needs more people that remember. Mm -hmm. And what happens, Gaia, when people don't remember about their vibration? Are they still helping you? They forget. Mm -hmm. They forget that they're part of me. Mm -hmm. I have so much I can share with them, but they don't know it, they don't feel it. Is this what happened to the planet? Which... I think that must be it, because mm -hmm. they didn't, nothing bad happened, maybe they just didn't, they disconnected. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they couldn't take advantage of the gift. So, so how can we take advantage of this gift? What do we need to do to connect with your heart? Acknowledge her. Honor her. It's the separation. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. 
She's she wants a connection. Mm-hmm. So it is. We are connected, but it's not reciprocal. Mm-hmm. The Tell conscious me. connection is what feeds both. It's a loop. Tell me how to do that conscious connection, that loop. Just to remember, mm-hmm. look around. We've forgotten. Like you can, you have to just see it. It's all, it's there. Mm-hmm. You don't see it. It's so powerful. Now, what kind of energy can this soul, Christy, use when she taps into Gaia? affect the weather. Hmm. Can you tell her how? She's done it. Mm-hmm. She's called up the wind. What else has she done? When her heart is open, then the connection is amplified. Mm-hmm. How often is her heart open? <sighs> Not enough. Mm-hmm. Would you help me find out what's happened to her heart, why her heart is closed? Just the the usual stuff. Mm -hmm. Life. So So easy for humans to forget. Mm -hmm. Take a look at her heart and tell me what's keeping her heart from being so connected. Afraid of how much it hurts. Mm-hmm. It's so strong. It sometimes feels painful. Let's take a look at her heart. Take a look at her heart and let's see what's there. It's beautiful heart. Mm-hmm. It's so much love in it. She doesn't know what to do with it all. Mm -hmm. So what is all this love that's being held in there doing to this heart? It strains it sometimes. Mm -hmm. We need to get an outlet for that heart, don't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine if all of this love is in this heart and it's trying to get out, I'm sure it's going to be like a balloon that needs to be burst open. Let's find a way to channel that love out of her heart. What can we use today to make a nice outlet for her heart? What would be good? We can use a faucet. We can use a power beam. What can she use all of this love in her heart for? I like the fountain. Mm-hmm. So let's create now a fountain, a beautiful fountain, connected to her heart. And this is a very special fountain. So as she begins to pour her love out, see the beauty of this fountain. What does it look like? <laughs> It's like shooting flowers Mm. and vines and butterflies and birds and just huge, like a bazooka. And where are all these going to? Where is she shooting all of this to? Oh, just out into this world. Mm Mm-hmm. Pretty similar to what she used to do in the other planet, didn't she? Creating She's been life. holding that. Mm-hmm. Why is she holding all this beauty inside her heart? Because she can't.
carried it forward from that other place. Mm-hmm. It's like an unrequited love. Yes. So much gifts that she didn't get to give. <sighs> it hurts. <sighs> Shoot it out even further. <sighs> Shoot out these gifts even further. <sighs> Make the go all around the earth. Feel this fountain making a grid around the earth, shooting out this beauty, shooting out those flowers and vines. And I recall that you had a specialty of shooting out colors, colors that made ripples in the landscape. Like a painting, Mm -hmm. like a beautiful painting. Let's begin shooting out those colors now. Oh, and tell me what colors do you choose? Oh, it's that same palette. Mm-hmm. It's the rosy dawn and the beautiful sunsets. It's the purples and the blues and the peaches and the corals and the pinks and the purples and the mauves and the oh, they're just so beautiful. Continue sending them out. No. The daybreak and the, the sunset. Mm-hmm. Paint a desert. Beautiful. <sighs> what else do you paint? It just keeps coming out. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Deep purple and steel grays and clouds. Beautiful landscapes. Their energies. They're what animates everything. Mm-hmm. The paints behind the thing, the, our world. They're light. And these lights, do they have a certain frequency or vibration? Uh, yes, mm-hmm. all of it. It's the spectrum of human emotion. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful tapestry. There's no color that's better than the others. Mm-hmm. And what shall we do with this beautiful, beautiful tapestry now? How can we enjoy it? It's giving permission. Mm-hmm. Humanity to reclaim their original full spectrum of colors, mm-hmm. and frequencies. They're not using them anymore. Why is that? It's this very small spectrum. Because they've been shut down. Tell me about that. How were they shut down? Their frequencies were shut down. Who shut them down? Oh many things, mm-hmm. as many stories, mm-hmm. they operate almost now in shadows, like they're a shadow, and they're rainbows, but they're not activated, and they're only vibrating with a small, dull, kind of shadowy palette, like just a fraction of what they really are. And how do we once again activate this palette? The colors are coming back. Mm-hmm. Those colors, those are the colors that I was supposed to bring back. Now 
Oh, I see. I've been holding them for the right time from that place to help Gaia. Mm -hmm. I needed to release them. Have they been released? The pile up, yes. Mm -hmm. I still carry them. But now I'll be able to use them more easily because they were bottled up. Mm -hmm. And now, how are you to use these colors? I'm not sure. Let's find out. In my life, in my work, mm -hmm. surround myself with them. And they will enhance the vibration. What are the colors? All the of them. Mm. So when Christy surrounds herself with this beautiful palette of colors, what will that do to her life? balance mm. remind her mm -hmm. it'll help bring the colors back mm -hmm. and when she brings these colors back to Gaia will that improve her own life to be bringing back to people too mm -hmm. people want their colors back how do they know the colors are gone because they're waking up. Mm. So when those that are asleep not see the colors when they awake? When they wake, they'll start seeing them. Mm -hmm. What will they see these colors in? It won't be anything that they'll notice right away. It'll just be like their world will get brighter. Mm -hmm. The colors will be more vivid. The colors will be in everything because they're frequencies. It'll be in their tastes. It'll be in the sounds. It'll be in everything. Mm -hmm. They're not just the physical colors our eyes see. Mm -hmm. So was this soul to come here to Gaia to help with the shift? Yes. Mm -hmm. She knows that much already. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What is her role? She's, she's just holding light like everybody else that came mm -hmm. in. And she works with frequency. She doesn't realize she does because she doesn't think she does. Mm -hmm. Because she thinks it's something that has to be tangible. Mm -hmm. But she does it because she remembers from when she did it before. Mm -hmm. And she was told by her guides a long time ago that she was poised to be a cutting edge revolutionary leader in the world and that this new concept would come through her. Is this what we're talking about today? The colors? I guess. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to show her now how can she use these colors to help the world. <sighs> she will be, she will know. She's finding her way there already. Mm -hmm. She has to let go of the wanting the big demonstrations. Mm -hmm. How will this come in? Through her knowing. Mm -hmm. Just her like visual gifts and her visual, she's very visual. Mm -hmm. Colors are more than just colors to her. She already vibes with colors. She already understands that. She just doesn't realize that 
it's something she's working with already. That's just her ego. Mm -hmm. She tells me that she's able to detect illnesses in people's bodies. Yes. Is this coming from this energy of color? Is this part of it? Or Sometimes. It's actually different. Mm -hmm. Is this a different gift that she has? She can work with colors for her healing. Mm -hmm. The diagnostic is different. Hmm. Where does that come from? Uh, it's something she's done before. Mm -hmm. She's been a healer in many lifetimes. Can you show her at this time now where she was a healer? Where she's bringing that information from. She worked with crystals. Mm -hmm. She was a healer. Like the time of Atlantis. Mm -hmm. She what? could work with crystals now too. How will she know how to work with these crystals? Just trust what she's drawn to. Mm -hmm. She doesn't she knows. She just knows already. Mm -hmm. It's just all in there. She just has to trust it. But she's afraid of people saying things that that may not be true. She's afraid of misusing it mm -hmm. out of ignorance. Has she misused her power before? No. Not in this lifetime. What about in other lifetimes? Is she holding on to a trauma from a different life? I don't feel that there was anything like that. Mm -hmm. I feel she was punished. All right, let's find out how it was that she was punished. Would you show her a snapshot of that life, please? She already knows about the main one. Mm -hmm. She was walled up, alive. Because she was feared as a powerful witch or sorceress or something. Mm -hmm. They didn't burn her. She was too powerful for that. So how is this lifetime affecting her now? The one of her being walled up? It's not. Mm -hmm. She retrieved that soul fragment that's guiding her, that wise woman. Mm -hmm. Very good. She, there may have been other lifetimes where she was also tormented. Religious lifetimes mm -hmm. feels like the being one. She's very anti-religious. Doesn't trust that stuff at all. Mm -hmm. Is that because of the persecution? Yeah, because it's not what it seems to be because of the manipulation and the controlling and the repression mm -hmm. of knowledge and people, the misuse of power, the satanic bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's all bullshit. So as this healer in all of these lifetimes, has she brought forth the healing of her own body? She can. Mm -hmm. What's keeping her from completely opening up about it? Her, allowing it? Her, her belief system, her programming, it's still there since so much. She doesn't, she's afraid to trust what she knows is the truth. Mm -hmm. She's also afraid of being disappointed if it doesn't work. It's just a question of trust. Well, she tells me that she's been helping her knees heal. Yep. Can we find out the origin of what's causing her knees to have discomfort? Um. Let's focus in on the knees. And tell me where the origin is. Partly just physical wear and tear. Mm -hmm. And partly fear of moving forward. Mm -hmm. Where is this fear of moving forward coming from? Fear of 
failure. Mm -hmm. Is this fear from this fear lifetime? Fear of unknow the unknown. Mm -hmm. Well, this lifetime and other lifetimes. Mm -hmm. It's a human thing. So let's now focus on these knees now. These knees mm -hmm. that need to move forward in life. And I'd like for you now to target the origin of when these knees became deteriorated, for what reason. Let's go back in time now and find the origin of when the knees became affected. I feel like there was a predisposition she came in with. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this predisposition. I don't know. Keep going back. Keep following it back. Follow the thread of the knees. Why did this soul choose to have these weak knees? Keep following it back. She was afraid of her power. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what this fear of her power is all about. What is she afraid about this mission on Earth that would cause her to come in with problems with her knees? I'm not sure I'm getting a picture of myself on a stone floor, like mm -hmm. in a nun's habit. Mm -hmm. Scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing on my knees. All right, so I'd like for you to acclimate yourself into that and body. It was penance. Then... It was penance to be on the knees for long periods of time in the stone. Mm -hmm. So I think it's partly that. Mm -hmm. Is she punishing herself for something in this life? It's just residual religious bullshit. Mm hmm. Does she, Penance. does she need to have this anymore? No. All right. She doesn't even know. So can we now disconnect from that life? Disconnect from that life of a, of a nun? Drudgery. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. She's fading away. Mm -hmm. Allow her to fade away. And I'd like for you to send her love. Send her love from that fountain of light from your heart. Send her the colors. And now, allow yourself to disconnect from that nun. And tell me if it's necessary anymore to do penance. No. Very good. So what color from this beautiful heart of yours would you like to paint your knees to be healthy? I sent that little nun in rose. Mm. Rosy light. Beautiful. I'll send my knees the same light. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and send that beautiful light. I'd like for you to give it extra energy. And tell me how your knees react when they receive this gift. I like it. Mm -hmm. What agreement would you like to make with your knees today? That the movement is only going to be about joy mm -hmm. and for moving forward and nothing painful or drudgery mm -hmm. no drudgery either no penance no pain all right so let's change that to positive let's change the mantra to moving forward with joy exactly jumping for joy very good on my trampoline very good so i'd like for you now to see yourself jumping for joy on that trampoline
Very good. And now that we have the knees taken care of, I'd like for you now to find out where the vertigo began. Let's see what the significance of the vertigo is all about. I think it's interference. Let's follow that interference and see where it's coming from. Follow it all the way to the source. Something came into my ear. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to identify what this is. What is oh, this? Something that wants to mess with me. Mm -hmm. Let's connect with that right now. I'm going to put my hand over your ears. Is it both of them? Left. Left. Let's put my hand over that area. We're going to bring that energy down, down, down. You can express yourself now. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. Do you have a name I could call you? What is your name, please? Imp. Imp? Mm -hmm. I'm an imp. Imp, how old are you? I don't have an age. You don't have an age. Imp, what is it that attracted you to this soul, to this body? It's got a busy head. Just got a busy head. Mm -hmm. So what does that help you with? Why were you attracted to this busy head? That would be fun. Mm. Were you bored, Imp? I like to mess with people. Mm -hmm. Where do you come from, Imp? I... I don't know. Mm. Imp, what do you do with her when you mess with her? What do you do? Make it so it's hard for her to think mm -hmm. and focus. Make her dizzy. Are you not allowing her to exercise either? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. How long have you been with her? Long time. Tell me how old she was when you found her. She was younger. Mm -hmm. Look how young. Like in her 30s, uh -huh. late 30s. Uh -huh. What was happening at that time that allowed you to connect with her? She was with that guy. Mm -hmm. Did that guy bring you to her? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. I want you to find out the source of how you found her. Did he call you? He... He had a lot of... He had a lot of stuff around him. Mm -hmm. He had. He other... liked the dark. Yes. So were you part of that dark? I think maybe I was attracted to it. Mm -hmm. Now, was Christy part of that dark? She was a putz. Mm. So you took advantage of her. She was weak. She was letting herself be manipulated. Mm-hmm. So it was a vibrational frequency match? Was that it? For you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figured I could have some fun. Mm -hmm. Him? She's not going to know what to do to get rid of me. Ah. She's going to think it's just her inner ear. Mm -hmm. So, Imp, what is it that you're afraid of? Why don't you want to leave? I don't know. It's what I do. It's mm -hmm. fun. Would you like to find more fun? <sighs> I can find. I guess. I could find more fun. She's not me. that much fun. No, she's not, huh? Not anymore. Mm -hmm. You want to feel more fun, Imp? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to feel something really joyful inside. I'm going to look for that with little white light in, in the middle of your chest, in the middle of your heart. I don't have a heart. Well, you have a soul heart. 
Do I? Yes, you do. Because you see, Imp, everything was created by Source. And everything has that light within. It's like your God spark. Find that light. It's there. And tell me when you find it. Okay. All right. Now, Imp, let's do something really fun. Let's see how big you can make that light. Make it really big. Make it as big as a star. Huh. What is I it? I don't think I can make it that big. Well, try. Way bigger than me. Mm-hmm. How does that feel? That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Didn't know I could do that. Now to make it even bigger. How does that feel? It's fun. Mm hmm Is it more fun than being with Christy? Yeah. Mm hmm So now you can follow that light. You can follow that light and see where it takes you. So I'd like for you now to follow that light and tell me what's on the other end. What's there? Oh, I feel like I'm on the rocket. Mm-hmm. It's a light rocket, like a comet. Mm-hmm. It's taking me... Like... Up. Mm-hmm. Into the... I can go into the outer space. Beautiful. I want you to go straight to source now. Straight to source. Oh. How does that feel? Not what it's like. I'm not really me anymore. Mm hmm. What are you? Are? What are you? What do you remember yourself to be now? I'm like everything. Mm. Doesn't that feel good? I'm nothing. And everything. How does that feel? It's peaceful. Beautiful. Imp, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Disconnect now, completely, from Christy. And now, I'd like for you to use that beautiful healing energy into your ear. What color would you like to use for this frequency? It's white, mm -hmm. like a moonstone. Send that Opalescent light. Opalescent white. Mm -hmm. Send it in there. Very until... bright like starlight. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Let it sparkle. My whole head mm -hmm. needs that light. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that feels. Beautiful. So now let's scan the body and see if there's somewhere else that we need to take a take a peek at. What else is hindering her progress? What do we see? Something at the base of her spine mm -hmm. where it meets her head. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to tell me what that is. Is it something she created or something attached to her? I don't know. Let's find it's out. It's thick. All right. It feels thick. It feels clogged. It feels mm -hmm. gray. All right. So let's find out what that energy is. I'm going to bring my hands and bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. This gray matter, what are you? Unexpressed. Unexpressed. Thoughts. Mm -hmm. Is she keeping you in the base of her head? Unexpressed. Why is she keeping you there? 
unexpressed doesn't approve mm -hmm. she doesn't approve of her own thoughts These are thoughts she's not aware of mm -hmm. they're old they're maybe from older from the past mm -hmm. not this lifetime why has she brought you with her in this lifetime was she not allowed to express those in other lifetimes? She hasn't forgiven. She judges them. Mm -hmm. They're the bad thoughts. Let's find out what kind of thoughts are in there. What kind of thoughts are there? The thoughts that aren't pure. Mm -hmm. Has she encapsulated all these thoughts? They've been hidden in the shadows mm -hmm. for a long time. Lifetime to lifetime, she doesn't want to look. Mm -hmm. There, it's their shame and judgment. Mm -hmm. Things she's not proud of. Things she disapproves of. Things she doesn't want to admit she could have been ever done and been capable of. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they all are, but that's. Where she, th those are the f the thoughts that have been stuffed there. Mm -hmm. Does Christy need to carry these the shame with her no. from lifetime to lifetime? These are old things. Mm -hmm. Religious. There's probably more religious. Yeah, religious judgments. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the human experience. It's all part of what she wanted to experience. Mm -hmm. So what can we do th with these thoughts now? Now that we have gone into this lifetime, it's like carrying all your souvenirs around from every place you've ever visited. It's a sandbag. She knows mm -hmm. She knows how to cut sandbags. She just didn't know that one was there. Mm -hmm. All right. So before we cut that sandbag, I'd like to ask Christy if she would like to forgive herself. I'm yes. bringing the sandbag with you, all right? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put my hand over your heart, but I'm going to use a rose quartz crystal. This rose quartz has love embedded into it, and I want you to go ahead and begin pulling out through that rose quartz crystal all of that stuff that you have not forgiven yourself. Because you see, forgiving is about you stopping the suffering, the judgment of yourself, poisoning yourself. Allow yourself now to pull out all of these thoughts, all of this weight, of all of this judgment on yourself. Pull it all out and tell me when I have it all. It's coming out of my throat chakra, mm -hmm. too. Very good. I can feel my heart beating in my throat. Mm -hmm. So as we do that, I'm also going to put a little bit put another quartz there. Let's put another quartz there and feel as it all comes out. Intensifying it, pulling it out. Wow. I can literally feel the stone moving. Mm -hmm. It's like I've developed a second heart up there. Mm -hmm. Weird. Pull it all out. <sighs> Tell me when we have it all. <sighs> There's a lot. All of those unexpressed feelings, thoughts. Pull it all out. You don't need to carry this heaviness anymore. You can't move forward in life if you're carrying all this weight. You can't jump for joy if you're weighed down by sandbags. Release it all so you can be flying high. Okay. 
Very good. So it's My heart's good. Let's send it up into the universe for healing. And now that we've taken it all out, now we need to put something back in. What can we put back into all of that space? <coughs> what would be the best? I'm coughing some stuff out. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, there was something in the th my throat that I didn't even know was there. Mm -hmm. What is that that you need to cough out? <coughs> What's there? Identify it, please. Is this a thought form or an attachment? What's coughing? I feel like it's an attachment. All right, let's speak with that attachment now. I'm going to bring my hand up and let me speak with you now. Are you male or female, please? Either. What are you? What kind of energy are you? I'm getting an implant. An implant, all right. So will you tell me where this implant is from? It's a control thing from the dark. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who put that implant in there. It was put in place when she came in. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. He knew when she came in what she was capable of. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have that. So what have you put into her? What implant is this? It's to keep her from speaking. Mm -hmm. Helping the truth and the light come out. She's on to us. Mm -hmm. We make her afraid to speak. Mm -hmm. She keeps a low profile. Which makes you happy, doesn't it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Tell me what else this implant does. It said it. We're going to switch that quartz now with black tourmaline. Let's use that black tourmaline to begin pulling out that implant. I'd like to now request... It's like a butterfly shape. Mm-hmm. Just like it's funny that I like a butterfly wearing, like butterflies there. Mm-hmm. But it's not a pretty butterfly. It's more like a twisted, like a little propeller thingy. Tiny. Like so a I'd, bow tie. So but now it's sharp. I'd like to now ask if the universe approves to begin lifting out that butterfly implant. You can dissolve it. Very good. So allow that black tourmaline it's to begin. disintegrate it. Mm -hmm. And tell me when it's totally disintegrated. It's rendered inoperable now. Very good. So now I'd like for you to connect with that darkness that put that implant in now. Connect with them. Mm. Do you give them permission to control your thoughts anymore? Nope. I want you to declare that to them. Declare them to them who you are. Game over. Mm -hmm. The jig is up. I know you, you know me cannot stop me. I am sovereign. Mm -hmm. I am inviolate. My energy is my own. You cannot. You have no power over me. You know this. So I'd like for you now to connect, disconnect any cords that are connected to you. Scan your body now and see if there's any other places where you are connected. I feel like my pelvis. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in the pelvis. I think it's my feminine 
energy mm-hmm. by, by the divine sec se- the, the 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 this my second my root chakra my second chakra mm-hmm. it's been suppressed all right let's find out it's what's yeah. happened there that's why they said that it, they said Robert was part of that mm-hmm what's in that area take a look it's a wound mm-hmm it's the, it's, it's, it's the betrayal of my divine feminine, Mm -hmm. that I wasn't enough, pretty enough, wasn't sexy enough, wasn't enough, smart enough, wasn't good enough, it's an old story. Do we need to have that story anymore? No. All right. So I'd like for you to tell me what that wound looks like. It's like a piercing. Mm -hmm. That didn't heal. All right. I'm going to remove this black tourmaline and I would like you to use that selenite that you have in your hands and put it above that wound and begin to heal it now. And tell me what's happening. It's closing up. And the warmth is coming back. Mm -hmm. It's like embers Mm -hmm. that had grown cold. Now they're igniting again. Mm They're glowing again. Keep making it stronger. Ignite that fire. Allow that energy, that creative energy now to flow through your whole body. It's so powerful. Mm-hmm. It's like a huge lily opening up. Mm-hmm. It's like tropical, mm-hmm. flaming. It's so pretty. Beautiful. So as that continues to burn, I'd like for you now to focus on the rest of your body and see anywhere else in your body that needs attention. Take a look. I don't think so. Let's take a look at the legs. The circulation in the legs. Oh. What's happening there? I think it had to do with the heart blockage. Mm-hmm. How's it look now? I think it'll start flowing now. Very good. The source was was stopped up. It was struggling mm-hmm. to pump that far away. Heart was so stressed with all that was holding. So let's find out if all of this blockage and implant and all of this dying embers have anything to do with her hair, her skin, her bones, her teeth? Take a look and see. She can rejuvenate. Mm-hmm. She needs to bring more high-frequency things into her body. She knows what to do. Remind She's her already again. doing it. Remind her again so she has it on the recording. <sighs> Needs to work with frequency with her foods too. Mm-hmm. Choose high frequency foods. Her body knows what it wants. She can transmute her water and her food so it's clean and so it carries a high vibration. Needs to eat more live foods. 
Mm -hmm. Her body's changing. The things she's doing now will lighten things further. She'll be able to hold more light. And she'll eventually not crave as much food. She won't. The meat will fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. It already is. She has to not judge. Right now her body needs support because it needs to cleanse and detox. Is she doing the right things for her body to detox it? Yes. Mm -hmm. She could do better. She knows what she needs to do more of. She's changing a lot of habits right now. She's doing pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. She was told that she has an undetected congenital heart defect. Was this the blockage we were talking about? Or is that something else? She may have a small valve defect mm -hmm. or murmur. Can you take a look at that now? I feel like there's a tiny hole in the upper left ventricle mm -hmm. or atrium. I don't forget which is which. The upper left chamber. Mm -hmm. There's a tiny something. All right, so I'd like to ask, with the approval of the universe, to bring in the non-physical physicians, bring in the heart specialists, and I'd like for them to go ahead and begin working on her heart now. And tell me how many there are and what they're doing. <laughs> I see four. They're like little tinkers. Mm -hmm. They're each taking a chamber. They're punched over. They have the little doctor reflector on their heads. Mm -hmm. Such a cute visual. Tell me what happens. Just tinkering around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nothing major. They'll work with me to heal. Very good. Is there anything else that we need on her body to have these physicians work on while she's sleeping? Look at her lymphatic system. Look at her veins. She think? needs an infusion of light. Mm -hmm. What color light does she need? I'm going to ask for Raphael. All right. So I'd like for Raphael to step the forward. The green light. The green. The mm -hmm. beautiful green. Good. It's like a luminescent yellow green. Almost like bioluminescence. Beautiful. I need a lot of that right now. To get the rejuvenation going. Mm -hmm. Things have been stagnant. My cells need to be reminded. My DNA needs a kickstart. Very good. And tell me when that has been completed so we can move on. It's so nice. I just want to bask in it. Mm hmm. You can continue basking in it, and I'm going to ask a little bit about the ancient wise lineage that she comes from and the High Galactic Council. They introduced themselves to her back in 1994 in a channeled reading. Can you tell her more about them? They are higher dimensional beings. Mm -hmm. They can traverse dimensions. I don't know what the origin is, though. Mm -hmm. They're a star race. It doesn't seem like they want to identify themselves. Mm -hmm. Is Adam still working with her? 
He was the one from the High Galactic Council. Yes, they're mm -hmm. all working with her. Mm -hmm. She's on a mission at their behest. Mm -hmm. Saying it's not important that you identify, you'll get fixated on that. Mm -hmm. You love all that stuff. Just know that we're with you. You know, and everything you need, you brought with you. <sighs> I just need to remember. Mm -hmm. So all of these things that she brought with her on this mission, is this mission the one we're talking about to bring the light? to Gaia, to connect. All of it. Mm -hmm. She's working on many levels. Mm -hmm. Many of them are not to her knowledge. There are other aspects of herself that she's not conscious of. Mm -hmm. Are some of these aspects of her the ones that are in her dreams. She says that she spent most of her life having nightmares. No. Would you tell her what that is, please? It's when she lets her frequency drop. Uh -huh. She just ends up Getting waylaid in the swamp. Mm -hmm. So why is she going into this place with all these dead animals? What is that all about? I don't know what that's about. What is that about? Would you allow her now to go into this place to find out what she needs to know? why she has forgotten her pets in this place and why she finds dead animals like for you now as i count from three down to one to take her down to that same level three two and one Where are you? I don't know. Like in a place where there's not a lot of light. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to illuminate your heart and begin to use that heart, that light. Lighting a match mm -hmm. in this chamber. Mm -hmm. It's like it's underground. Tell me about this chamber. It's like it's dark. Not a cave, almost like if you dug out a den or a burrow mm -hmm. underground in the mud. Let's find out who has dug this. This is place is the collective. Mm-hmm. Why has the collective dug out this space? Well, that's where a lot of them live. Mm hmm. And I know. They lost their way from the light. Mm hmm. And they don't even know it. They think this is normal. What do they have down here? Not a whole lot. Mm hmm. It's pretty barren. So I'd like for you to continue using that white light from your heart. <sighs> it's very me. heavy. You can, it's hard to breathe down there. Mm -hmm. To find out what's there. This is where there's pain. Mm -hmm. This 
it's not a place I want to be. Mm -hmm. Why do you go to this place? What's there for you? I want to help. Mm -hmm. I want to help. What can you help them with? I don't know. Let's find out. I feel... Remember. I feel them and I, they call me. Remember. Remember. I'm going to put my hand... <sighs> Your, my finger on your forehead, and you're going to remember. Remember what it is that you can use it to, to I think to it's help. all the... It's all the suffering. How can you help them? Bring it forward. What is your superpower? What is your superpower that you... I want to save think? them. How can you save them? I need to pull them out mm -hmm. into the light. All right. I need, I, I, they're suffering down there, mm -hmm. they're dying. Well, each one of them has their own light. Each one has a light they forgot about. I want you to now, instead of pulling them out, remind them of that light within them. I don't see anybody, it's just a place. Send them your love. Send them your love. Illuminate them. Illuminated they hide with their love. pain and the suffering there, all mm -hmm. the dark deeds. Send their love. Oh. Send your love. You uh. now have that power within your heart to send out that beautiful light with flowers, with butterflies. Send that light and love. I'm sending. I'm sending roots mm -hmm. from above. Beautiful. They have leaves. They're pushing through the mud. Very good. They're bringing life back to this place. Wonderful. They're bringing light back in. It's in this is all being held in Gaia. Mm -hmm. It's in her. That's why it's underground. Mm -hmm. That's why there's no people. She's holding all of this terrible pain. Oh, it's just, I don't want to be there. You are her sister. No. You can help her now. Oh, yes. Send her oh. what she needs to release this. Send her your love. Oh. She needs to reclaim it mm -hmm. with her beautiful life force. Mm -hmm. Make it green and grow again. Remind her of this. Oh, she needs help. There's so much of it. Send all of your love. Oh. Keep sending it from your heart. Put oh. into every area where she's been holding this pain. Oh, no. There's a stream coming in of spring. A spring. Beautiful. It's going to wash this place away and mm. feed the roots. Wonderful. It's because she's going to reclaim it. Mm -hmm. And that's what will heal all that residual of pain and suffering that she's been holding in that spot. Wonderful. Oh, people were there at one time. Mm -hmm. oh. How does that feel now? <sighs> <sighs> Does she need to come back here in her dreams anymore? Oh, she was trying to find. She was trying to answer the call. Mm -hmm. Save them. And now? Still be call her. Mm -hmm. There's so much. There's so much, but now she knows what she needs to do. Yes, now she knows. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now I'd like to ask a little bit about relationships. She's been told that she's supposed to have an amazing partner in this lifetime, a sacred union, a contract. Will she ever meet him in this timeline? Oh, she jumps timelines now. Mm -hmm. She's seen him. 
She doesn't know. She knows. She's. She doesn't know if she's going to see him while she's still here or if it's in somewhere else mm-hmm. beyond. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she thinks it's going to be in 5D and not here. What would you I like to know. tell her about that? She could just not think, worry about it. She doesn't really worry about it. Mm-hmm. She's starting to let it creep back in. She's had a lot of healing to do mm-hmm. before she could even be... Her heart needed to heal before she could even have space for anybody mm-hmm. to come in. Mm-hmm. She was shut down for a long time. He moved on. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And you talk about 5D? Is this the new Earth? He moved on with his path because the times when they were supposed to come together didn't happen because she... She chose different paths. She mm-hmm. made detours. And what about now? Could happen now. Mm-hmm. She has a little more work to do on trust. Mm-hmm. What level does she need to be at in order to reunite with him? She's still reclaiming herself. When she's fully actualized, they will, they can connect. Very good. It may not be physical, it may be etheric, Mm -hmm. but that's okay. She is looking for union, not necessarily romance. Okay, very good. She set the bar really high. She's not sure it can happen. Mm Mm-hmm. She has bigger fish to fry. Can you tell her about those fish that she needs to fry? All the things she came here for. Mm -hmm. The healing on herself and the healing she came to do. And now that we've done quite a bit of it today, how do you see her working in the future? She's just begun. Mm. She says that she feels that she's on the cusp of a big change. She needed to know she could do it. Mm -hmm. And she needed to clear the stuff that was impeding it. Now that she's clear and she knows, she can now begin Mm -hmm. to do it. Is this positive for her? Yes, because her soul wants to do it now when it's needed most urgently. It's the t- what she came for. This is the time. Mm-hmm. This is why she wanted to come now. This is why we brought her now. Mm-hmm. It's all, all amping up. And she knows that's what she's feeling. It's not about her job. She'll find something. Why so, is it that her job has always fallen apart whenever she tries to do something? Was she being controlled? No. What was that all about? We wanted to get diverted. Hmm. We get, she would get distracted by all of that, and it was her, it was what it was the plan? She wouldn't have been ended up here today if, if all of those things had many of those things had worked out. Hmm. That would have become her thing, her life. So the jewelry making and all that would have been a different path. Uh, what about now? Professional success, recognition on the in the from the world, it would have not gone to her head so much as it would have. She needed the space. We took her out. We took her out of the of the, all that so that she could commune. We so we could train her. Mm-hmm. If she was doing all that, we wouldn't have been able to. That's what cleared the deck. That's what made her open. We, ooh, that's how that's how she's been opened up to it. Mm-hmm. That's how she, that's how we've woke her up. So now that she's awake, will she be able to make more money now and not live paycheck to paycheck? She can if she wants. Mm-hmm. She's really not that motivated by money. 
She's always taken care of. Mm -hmm. She needs to... She still has residual beliefs about money. Because she's seen its misuse. She still thinks it might taint her. Mm -hmm. She's been working on that, but she still carries that. She doesn't she doesn't allow her to let it in. Let's find out if that's a little seed that's stuck in her head that we could pluck out today. She's ready for it to go. All right. So let's it's just old program, an old, old program. Mm -hmm. So let's find out the chamber of where she keeps all this old programming. And let's take out that vacuum today. And let's begin. It's a little hard nugget. Mm. It's just so persistent. It's, and it's right in the middle of her brain. Let's pull that out today. It's like a bean mm -hmm. or a... A BB, it's bigger than that. It's hard and it's metallic. And it's, it's, I feel like it's, it is maybe, it does feel like, it actually feels like an implant. It's round, it's spherical, and it's metallic. Hmm. It doesn't belong there. No, it's an implant. I see it. So I'd like oh, to that's going to hold someone back for sure. Mm -hmm. So now that she knows she has this power within her, what can she use to dissolve that implant? Oh, we need to ray it. We need to laser it out. Mm -hmm. So as, it. go ahead and begin lasering it out. Who would you like to call in for this assistance today? I don't know. I have experts on my team who mm -hmm. know how to do this. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's call in the experts. I don't know who they are. Before we even do, let's find out who implanted that. I'd like for you to follow them and see who it is that implanted that in there. I want you to face them. Who are they? Hmm. I can't tell if they're reptilian or crustacean. All right. Well, you I want you to face them. I want you to follow that implant and face them now. I want you to call them forth. There's some gnarly negative ET. Mm-hmm. They all, they all are working on the same agenda. All right. So I'd like for you now to confront this group that implanted this into your mind. They know who they are. I know who they are. All right. So I want you now to tell them to remove that implant. If they can't, they're not going to remove it. I render it inoperable. All right. Because... They have no interest in removing it. All right. Well, then you tell them. They think them. they're all. They they think that they've got this all figured out. Well, you tell them. I want you to face them now and tell them what you think about having that implant in your mind. Uh, um, it's not working anymore. You tell them. It may, have, it may have worked before I knew better, but now I'm too awake. Now I know it's there, and I know how to deal with that mm -hmm. do you give them and I'm not afraid they can't control me it's an illusion you tell them they have no power very good they think they do it's so pathetic you tell them who you are I am that I am I am divine spark of all that is can't touch me. Very good. I am bulletproof. My team is going to take that thing. They're removing it now. Very good. They're, sh they're, sh they're, they're just going to, they're just shrinking it down and then it's, boop, little gone. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
Tell me when that's done. And now there's a little hole. All right, so let's call in Archangel Raphael. And let's bring in his beautiful green light. And yeah, fill. that's my. they put it in my pineal gland. Mm. That's what it is right there in the middle. My brain where the pineal, my pituitary, they, they, that's what they put it in my pineal gland. That's going to shut someone down for sure. Not anymore. There's a little hole, though. It needs to be... Need some work. It's because it's dark in the hole All where right. it was. So now you know who you need to call in to fix that hole. I don't know. Let's bring in the non physical. I'm just going to call as source light to come All in. All right, that's good. I work with source light. Very good. Oh, inside of my skull feels illuminated now. Beautiful. I feel like my inner vision will be better. Wow. And now that your inner vision is better, let's find out a little bit about Simon. Oh. And what his role was in your life. I'd like for you to connect now with Simon. My boy. Mm -hmm. His role was to see me through my spiritual awakening. Mm -hmm. He's my little familiar. He helped me heal a lot of stuff. He brought out a lot of stuff. He really helped me work on so many things. Mm -hmm. He was a trooper. He helped heal a lot of my human stuff that I was struggling with so I could forgive myself and I learned patience and empathy and so many things that I need to do the work that I came to do. Oh, such a gift. Mm-hmm. They've all been gifts. Wonderful. He did definitely open my heart chakra just before he passed. Mm -hmm. It's like an explosion. It burst open. I think he prepared me for today. Mm -hmm. Oh, does he have a message for you today? Oh. We're just so connected. Mm -hmm. He's part of me. Will he be back again? No. Mm -hmm. He's done his work. He's, he's still is with me now. Mm -hmm. He continued to work with me. I need to ask him to help keep some of the bullshit noise when I, that's been troubling my sleep. He can help me with that. Let's find out if that noise is still there. Let's find out if that noise was from Imp. <laughs> From Imp? Mm hmm I don't think so. I think I've just dropped the ball. I've, I'm a restless soul. I have a questing mind. I've always been used to traveling. When I sleep, mm -hmm. I do more living when I'm asleep than when I'm awake. I just have to remember to set my intention and put my... Quiet my mind and put my protection up. I think that my sadness over losing Simon also opened me up mm -hmm. to being more vulnerable. I lowered my frequent my vibration because mm -hmm. it's a lot of noise. I I I know this stuff. I I've, I've always been vulnerable to that. It's like I'm an open channel. I'm, I don't like I'm a radio antenna and I pick up all the all the stations. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot of stations and static I don't want to listen to, and I need to learn to tune it out. So let's show Christy now how to tune that frequency. I'd like for you to show her. 
in a pictorial, how can she tune that frequency out? You should just do a quick meditation before she goes to sleep. Very good. Before she enters that theta state that you were saying. Mm -hmm. That's when the channel is open. And that's when she needs to make sure she tunes it to her choice. Very good. Can she use a light to help channel herself into mm -hmm. a good place? So mm -hmm. what visual would you she'd like to use? A blue light. Beautiful. So when she goes to sleep, I'd like for you to remind yourself to follow that blue light. It's like a perfect night light. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And now she has questions about the Mandela effect and the new earth. Do you have anything to tell her about that? She understands it. Mm -hmm. She knows it's not one answer. You turn the puzzle over in your hand, and depending on the angle you look at it, is the answer that you get. Mm -hmm. Good. Because you are creating the puzzle. So it's it's all it's more than one thing. Mm -hmm. You can't <laughs> you can't pin it down. And she understands more on the uh, what's the word for beyond cognitive level. She just can't put it into words. She understands beyond what her mind can grasp. And that frustrates her. She wants to go there and she wants to have it all tied up in a neat little bow because she's got that kind of a brain. And that's good, but she can sometimes get sidetracked, takes her down rabbit holes. Mm -hmm. She's got to know when to reel herself back from her questing brain and just feel into it. Very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell her today? Oh, she's doing an awesome job. She always thinks she's not making it, making enough headway and she doesn't have discipline and she's not doing this and not doing that and should be doing this and she really rides herself and she's very impatient. So impatient, even though she used to be way worse. But she took on a lot. And she's really never really faltered. So she needs to acknowledge that so she can trust her ability to navigate going forward. It's trust. She's got to trust herself. It's just she has she knows everything she needs to know. She has everything she needs. She can't fail. She can't fail. Very good. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you so much. Feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back. Wow. Wow. I nice. felt that cool splash. Oh, yeah? I did. That cart over here. Yeah, you did great, huh? Oh, my goodness. Let's take this from That you. was wild. Yeah, you like that? You did a lot it of it. It felt like I was talking to myself. And that's how it feels. That's your higher self. That's why they call it self. <sighs> Sometimes I felt like... They don't call you know, it to hire you. Let's put, let's put some shunga <sighs> in there around you. So what do you think? Wow. That was really Intense. a major purge. Intense, huh? Of really. I started off right out of the gate. <sighs> Like, whenever I connect with Source at all, it usually makes me well up. Mm -hmm. But, oh my gosh, that was, wow. How long do you think you were on this journey? I don't know, an hour. Mm. We're on an hour right now and 50-something minutes. Hour and 50? Mm -hmm. I don't know why I should be surprised at how many tapes have I seen, and they always say the same thing. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
amazing, huh? It's like, like time, like linear time just doesn't exist. Oh, you did thank good. you so much. You did wonderful. So what do you think? That was a trip. Literally. <laughs> it was um, a trip. Let me get this camera set up. Oh I my God, wasn't we're sideways. expecting it to be such an emotional, like, tsunami. You were crying off the bat. Like, as soon as uh, I started. Oh, my God. I was yeah. so pent up. But yeah. I've never, I don't think I've ever felt such intense feelings in my human ex world in, that I, mm. as I was tapping into when I was feeling some of those painful. Wow. Yeah. I mean, it was, I, I, I was overwhelmed. Like, literally, I thought I was not going to be able to endure it. How does your body feel now, though? It's almost like we had to go in there to pull all yes. that stuff out, right? Yes. It's, it feels like empty. Well, like now empty. We, now like we can light. Now we can fill it. Yes. Wow. Amazing. It's hard to really put into words, actually. So what, how would you like to describe this for everybody? Um, this is the equivalent of years of therapy. <laughs> um, removing obstacles that you've been wrestling with for years, maybe your entire lifetime, maybe multiple lifetimes mm. and just like it takes you right to the source of it it's very empowering too because you do do it yeah you do it and so many times during that i was like i don't know what to do i don't know what to do who am i calling i don't know but you did I mean, my ego was there going, who are you going to call? Ghost <laughs> I mean, literally, it was there the whole time, yes. like, you know, yes. messing with me. Yeah, and that's your ego. Your ego will mess with you the because, whole time. Because, you know, it likes, if, it, if it's something that it can't really handle, it's going to get all go with the sarcastic humor. I mean, mm -hmm. literally, it yeah. was so out of, was so obnoxious at moments. So what did you do? I, I ignored it. Good. That's yes. what you do. Because I listen to Alba. That's right. As she told me. And before these sessions, what I tell everybody is your ego is going to be chattering away, as it always does, but you focus on my voice. And that's what you do. And we use the little the little cap pointer, the little light that if you have a cat, you know what I'm talking about. You little have a little pointer of light. Yep. And you just have that cat running around after that pointer. So in this case you're pointing at my voice so that you could focus well, that's on what keep that's what keeps kept me on track that's what kept me mm -hmm. like you say it's it was like a momentum built up and yeah. it, so you don't get lost you don't like lose your lose your connection yeah yes it's amazing you did great what do i look like though oh my god great. i was like <laughs> such a emotional basket so, case <laughs> right now we are in brooklyn new york and where are you coming from Hoboken. Mm, and that's right across the river from here. So uh, would you recommend this to other people? Absolutely. Yeah. And don't be discouraged because it might take a while before you can get an appointment. I waited nearly two years and I had pretty much given up. But if you're meant to be here, yes. you will be here mm -hmm. because there is a lot of synchronicities and a lot of facilitation mm -hmm. from the universe that I ended up here today. Exactly. And I didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So if you would like a, a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to the out of town page, even if you're in Miami. And right there on the bottom, there is a sign up for my mailing list. Get on that mailing list. Put my... Uh, email address info at albawyman.com as your favorites that way when I put that newsletter out it'll bing you right away it'll tell you about it and then you can go in there and click on the calendar and get your session they do book within minutes instantly so, okay instantly pretty much instantly <laughs> so make sure that you have that in your uh, in your favorites so that when you get that newsletter you can sign up and if there is nothing on the calendar it means that it's been signed up you know everything's been booked so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i get thank you all love. Bye -bye until <laughs> next time bye